I think you all know what time it is. There's a little bit of a five-star erudition character on the current banner, and I'm thinking we might as well just pull and see if we can get lucky. Of course, we do have one on this banner first. We're just going to get that out of the way. Not a five star skip and blue. If we can get this man early, then I might also go for the light cone because there probably won't be another erudition character, at least five star on another banner anytime soon. But let's start it out. Hope to see the little holographic ticket. Nope. Okay. And we don't want that. But you know what we do want? Opera GX. There's no way you haven't heard of them by now, but they are back with even better features like GX mods. With these mods, you can change pretty much anything within your browser. That means background music, typing sounds, the little sound that plays when you open or close a tab, the color theme, and dedicated wallpapers for the mods of your choosing. Within the mod menu, you can enable or disable features from various mods to get your browser looking and sounding exactly how you want. And there are already tons of mods available to choose from. Now, if you need some more visual stimulation, you can even choose from one of many different animated backgrounds, so your eyes will always have something to stare at while you're putting off being productive. Then, of course, you have the GX corner, where you can easily keep track of any free, discounted, or new games at a glance. You can also download any Google Chrome extension and it will work seamlessly within Opera GX, so there's literally nothing holding you back from swapping over. And you know, it's fine if you don't think you need Opera GX. I understand that some people just don't like convenience, they hate customization, and they prefer things look boring. Although I somehow doubt that this describes any of you. So go ahead and download Opera GX from the link down below and just think of all of the customization that awaits you. Big thanks to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. I'm kind of hoping we don't get any of Ting Yun or Su Sheng, I think that's her name, because those are the two characters I want on my main, and I still have not gotten a single copy of them. Luckily, we didn't get either. We got March 7th. Show me the holographic Take it right there. Boom. Holla no. Okay. Skip. And oh, oh, I'll take that. I will happily take any erudition characters or light cones. Feel free to give them all. No, 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 no. Not Su Sheng and not not this guy. Yeah, that's that. No, 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 no. Give me the Su Sheng on my other account. That's where I'll take. Oh, oh, that's holographic. Okay. We're getting a five star. Question is, we going to be winning the 50-50 or are we going to be very sad? Show me the dude. Show me. Yes. Oh, you love to see it. Jing Yuan is here. It, no, no. Go to my main account. It no. <laughs> wow. A lot, of, a lot of four stars in this. Of course, the four stars are kind of useless because we can't use them here. But we got the five star we were looking for. Now, I'm thinking maybe, you know, maybe just a couple pulls on here. Maybe we can get a little lucky and just snipe out the light cone. Doesn't look like we're going to get lucky for the light cone right now, but we'll keep pulling. We'll see if we can get it. Ting Yoon, I am very sad to see you here because, like I've probably said too many times now, I want you on my main account. Not on erudition only. And the same goes for you, Su Shang. But you, my good sir, I am very happy to see. Now, with the help of some synthesizing, I think we can ascend him again. Yup, we can. Bring him up to level 40. And we can't bring him any farther anyways. Now, I don't really have a spare light cone for the time being, but uh, it's probably... Uh, we could do this. We'll put... Himiko's onto him, then we'll put Herta's onto Himiko, then just for now, I guess we'll put the data bank on Herta, and also, we get her E1. I thought we were a little further than that. But of course, once we do some more of the simulated universe, we can get even more of her Eidolons. Oh wait, we have to replace someone on the team. I really don't want to swap Serval out, but this guy is another Electro character, and I don't think I need two of them right now. So then I guess I'll just swap over Servo's light cone to Herta because Servo's not on the team. Wait, look at how tall he is in comparison to our other characters. He's like double the height. Oh, we just hit Trailblaze level 
30. Does Pom Pom have anything to reward me for this feat? Oh, I guess I haven't really been claiming stuff. We get one star rail pass. Oh, and I have to raise the equilibrium in the world. That's probably not going to be too easy for us. You see, we desperately need better relics. Oh, and I guess I can't actually raise the equilibrium yet. Well, if that's the case, then... Oh, how did I get four of these? You know what? I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to start pulling and I'll show you if we get any purples or higher. We did not get any purples. Unfortunate, but uh, kind of to be expected. You know, something that I did forget about is these shopkeepers. I went around and just bought the stuff that they sell. And that means I can take off these crappy relics and put on some the same ones, apparently. I like how it auto equips a two star when we have a full four star set. Not sure I really understand that line of logic. And with a bit of leveling, we should have slightly better. They still don't look great, but they're slightly better stat. Oh, 119 speed. That's not that bad. At least for very early on in the game, that's not that bad. And another benefit from buying stuff from these guys is you get these little spending rewards. And from those spending rewards, we can do a couple pulls. We're going to keep trying to get this light cone because that would just be amazing to get on this account. Okay, nothing so far. I think this is the ninth one. And we can't use that. I don't think we're actually- Why are you sneaking up on me? Excuse you. What are you doing? What? It oh. Oh, and then she's she's back again. But yeah, I don't actually expect to get that light cone. Though, to be fair, the game has already been quite generous to this account. Ooh, the Forgotten Mirror Lands are here. Forgotten Hull, that, that's what it is, right? Not Mirror Land. Even though I kind of feel like Forgotten Mirror Land fits a little bit better. Oh, good, it increases our wind damage. Oh, this is going to be so good. I can't wait for the YouTube comments to be so mad at me for not knowing how to properly use this character. I mean, I, I kind of just have him on the team i did the trial other than that like there's there's a little electro robot that's about to attack this guy right he does that which does a decent amount of damage but other than that i really have no idea what he does the main reason i came in here is because once you get far enough we get another copy of this girl all right so it looks like we need to clear stage three if we want to get her idol on let's find out if we're able to beat two and three Oh, that is such a nice combo. Well, two was easy. I think we actually might be able to do this. Oh my gosh. This is so nice. Oh, why does his skill do so much damage? And there we go. That was way easier than I thought it was going to be. I guess we might as well attempt the fourth floor. This is not looking as good for us. Yeah, we can't do that yet. But that is perfectly fine because we got what we wanted. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is already E2 for her. Even better. And speaking of even better, here comes my five... Let's try that again. Here comes my five star light. My five. Ooh, but what if we were to not continue doing the main story yet, but instead delve back into the simulated universe? And I feel like picking a bunch of elation bonuses is probably the best thing. Although I feel like the quote unquote meta for this account later on is going to be picking all of these sustain related bonuses. Because without any heals or shields, we're not going to live too long in the later stages. Especially when it comes to bosses. Oh, this could be very nice for us. I could be wrong. And because I'm saying that, I probably am wrong. And I should also probably just go check to see if I could prevent myself from being wrong. Oh no, I actually would have been right. This dude's big lightning avatar stand thing, it does count as follow-up attack damage. So all but one of our characters are affected by the elation buffs. I'm very curious to see how much this lightning lord does here. Oh my gosh. We just... We just killed it that easily. Oh, and this is such a good one for us. We may have no sustain, but we're going to have quite a lot of damage. And I'm going to go for the upgrade here and hope that we get it for that three-star one. 
Oh, we actually did. That is so good. Honestly, this is like a perfect run so far. I can't wait to see how I screw it up. Okay, this is probably where things are going to start to go south. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, we got Lightning Lord to move before this guy does. I'm going to give this a roll. i give it one more. Okay, nothing happened. We really need the Lightning Lord to do an astronomical amount of damage here. Uh, it was good, but that hurts a lot. Oh, no. And now they're... No, please don't kill anyone. It is imperative that everybody survives here. No! Do I have the reviver yet? I don't remember. Oh, we don't have the reviver yet. Oh, boy. Oh, enhance one random three-star blessing of the elation, and I only have one that can be upgraded. I mean, I'll take it. It is boss time, which means it's probably time to lose. I'll put up all of our buffs because why not? Oh, I forgot she attacks. Crap. She's the only character we have that has a technique where they don't just buff themselves. And I kind of forgot she was on the team. Okay, we actually took both them down to phase two and we haven't taken too much damage yet. The detonation order actually helps us more because we destroy those things and it just does a bunch of damage to the two bosses. Oh, okay, well that also can kill them. Oh, one of them's down already? This is going so well for us. Oh, oh, that hurt. But I still think we are completely fine here because lightning... Uh, Lightning Lord didn't need to do anything. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Another Eidolon. This means it's going to be wishing time again. Also, another character at E2. Wait, wait, wait. wait. When? Oh, wait. Did I get these from the shops? And then also one right now that I just didn't spend. Anything on the path of erudition is always appreciated. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. Oh, no. I can't use Pela for anything. Now we're going to try to get back to the main story. I am just a bit worried that when we go to fight the next big boss that I already forget the name of, it's like Cocolia? Cocalia? Something like that? I... Oh yeah, right there. Thank you for telling me game. Cocolia. I just feel like we're going to struggle so much. Plus they force us to bring the main character and that kind of sucks because I'm going to try not to use any of their skills or anything. I mean, I think that they force us to use the skill once as a tutorial, but after that, I guess I'll just spam normal attacks. So I'm kind of going to be down a character. Even this dude might pose a little bit of a challenge for us. Although I think we're going to be... Yeah, I was going to say just fine because I was expecting that to kill, but did not kill, but it's fine because that killed instead. Do they actually force you to fight three waves of these guards right now? I don't remember having to do that when I played through on my main account. I mean, I guess technically I could just run and I don't have to fight any of them. That also works. Oh no, you can't. Okay, wait, we can't interact with that when we're in combat. So we just get ambushed. That was the plan the whole time. Then we run back and before they see us, uh, never mind, we can't do it. This dude is very persistent. Well, that guy came out of nowhere. I really wanted to save my ultimates, but that's not going so well. We do fight Jeopard, don't we? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yep, okay, I see him up there. Here we go. Hoping we don't struggle here, but I wouldn't be surprised if we do. Why do they turn off my speed up? Come on, Lightning Man, do a lot of damage. Ooh, that's pretty good. And here we go again. Oh, that's so good. And then another follow-up. That was very easy. I think swapping out her... Well, not swapping her out, but replacing Herta with the Trailblazer when we have to fight Kokolia would be the best bet. Her follow-up attack is only really going to prac once in that fight anyways, so it's not going to do that much for us. Kind of wish I didn't have to swap anyone out and, you know, kind of cheat a little bit. But sadly, the game forces us to do so. All four generator things are online, which means the door magically opens. It was a matter of life or death, right? So couldn't we have theoretically just jumped over this fence that's like a foot above our head? I think that would have been easier than going around, turning on every generator, and then coming back. But what do I know? Oh wait, I just realized. When this enemy bans our normal attack, this character has to get hit. Well, that sucks. If that enemy alone did this much damage to our team, I am so afraid of this boss fight. Oh, that's right. I forgot we get a trial run to see just how hard this boss is going to be. Because first, we fight the weakened form of her. And again, they took off my speed up. Yeah, Herta is definitely the one we're going to be taking out because she's not even weak to ice. Come on, lightning boy, do a lot of damage. I'll take it. So we're going to be able to take her out with no characters going down. You know, that's 
that's pretty okay but that doesn't really mean much because the actual boss fight is way harder than that i think my plan here is to just do a little bit of upgrading and then go in hopefully not lose but probably lose and then we're really going to have to go and upgrade everything possible although for right now all of our traces are maxed as much as we can get them we also can't ascend the light cones anymore so it's basically just going to come down to relics oh i already have to include the trailblazer oh that sucks oh and i'm gonna have to level her up to 30 i guess it's not really a waste because eventually we'll probably have an erudition trailblazer but for right now it's definitely a waste oh wait let's see can we get a little lucky before the boss fight can we see a you know, just a nice five-star light cone. <laughs> I don't even think that that five-star light cone could save us. The plan is to avoid every enemy that we see. Although I actually don't think there are enemies until they force you to fight them at the top. So already my plan is failing. And here probably comes the first L of many. I don't really know how I expect to beat this without any sort of sustain, but I guess I'm going to try to figure that out. I really just don't like the fact that the trailblazers here though and that's not anything against the trailblazer it's just they're not erudition yeah that's it that's it killer kill the trailblazer oh my gosh that did so much damage i hate to break it to you trailblazer but you're kind of running to your death right now and i don't even mean in this cutscene. i just mean when this battle starts you are definitely going to die oh wait actually yeah you do have a scripted death but even beyond that she's still gonna die no matter what she's just going to keep dying look at how much damage we're about to do to her Boom, 1%. Ready for this? Another, oh, not even 1%. It's less than 1%. It's, oh my gosh, what is it, like 0.3%? There we go. We got her down to 98. Oh, wait. Nope, still just 98. Oh, wait. You can just run through this without even paying attention to the dialogue? This is great. It's like a skip button. I thought I was going to have to listen to all this again. So does this mean that every time the Trailblazer gets a new path unlocked for them, they're going to have to die to get to this place? I hope not, because that would become very predictable. Oh, that's right. We do get the big robot on our side, so that will help. If I die here, I'm just curious, how far back does it send me? Yeah, they're forcing me to use this skill here. But other than that, I'm only... Only going to use her normal attack and i'm going to not use her ultimate either not that it would really do anything even if i did use it also stop disabling my speed up oh <laughs> every time that skill procs it feels like it does so much damage it just surprises me every time can you imagine if we actually didn't struggle here that'd be kind of crazy oh right the punch yeah might as well it's actually hard for me to not use a character's ultimate because it's just sitting there shining at me but i have to keep reminding myself that that's kind of cheating even though it's cheating for them to be on the team but i can't just take them off the team unfortunately but this will get rid of her first health bar and now enters the harder part and of course she stuns the one character i prefer she didn't stun this is about to do so much damage to our team but can you just like focus all that damage onto the trailblazer i'd really appreciate it you don't need to attack the whole team you know just, just attack the one character oh and you he's he's still stunned i think this stun is still from before though okay so we're gonna do a little bit of, a little bit of that and then one of these and then one of those we get the big punch coming in oh my gosh it's so much damage and then just normal attack with you please do not stun our boy again okay that's fine and you do that then you get smacked with this oh, oh. oh. Wait. wait wait we won just like just like that. I expected that to be way harder. I don't think you guys had enough faith in me. You were all saying that this was a, well, not all of you, but a lot of you in the comments were saying this is a stupid challenge. I should have picked a, you know, preservation, destruction, whatever, because I'm just going to lose with this. Well, look who's laughing now. Believers stay winning. And if I'm being honest, the trailblazer did nothing there anyways. Wow. This, this is great. I thought we were going to be stuck here for hours. I was afraid I'd have to end the video without even being able to kill Kokolia. Erudition only? Too easy. What can I say? I'm curious how hard that would have been if we hadn't gotten Jingyuan, because he definitely does a lot of damage. I think he's just going to kind of carry this account. Ooh, this means that we can level up our world's... Uh, what's that word? Uh, the... No, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Level up 
V world, not Eidolon. That's not it. Not Echelon. V. Why can I not think of the word? It's not resonance. What is the word? No, I can't get it. Equilibrium. That's what it is. I mean, I knew that, of course. And these are difficult for us because you can't heal in between battles unless you use food, which I don't even know if I have. And honestly, this already is not looking so good. Okay, one of them is down, but so is one member of my team. Do I have a reviving thing? Yes. Okay, this is heals a downed character and then we just have to force feed all of our characters i guess on this account i'm gonna have to cook a few things just for these sorts of situations all right let's buff up everybody use your skills i, I guess techniques not skills i think you guys know what i meant though and i'm hoping this one's easier to kill than the other one was i think it will be just because we have two characters that are good against it in terms of weaknesses yeah we're looking fine lightning man is moving before this dude moves so we already know that we win. Okay, not that bad. I mean, I'm out of healing food, but not that bad. And now the only thing that would make this episode even better is this five star light cone. <laughs> I will definitely be ascending this light cone though. After a little bit of farming, we can go ahead and ascend Himeko. I really want to send Jingyuan, but I don't have the materials for that yet. The stuff that we would need for him, I think is in the next region or I guess next planet you know i never realized that with these weekly things you have the chance to get all of the four star light cones that are here that's actually really nice now i would like to beat this weekly boss but it's actually looking like it's gonna be a little harder than i thought oh i forgot about that attack and the sad part is this is the lowest difficulty available for this fight i guess on the bright side there is a lot of upgrading we can do we just don't have the materials yet so after a lot of farming we should hopefully be able to clear this but for the time being we are not able to oh you, you know what's gonna help us a lot when we go and get this five star light cone right not there. Oh, and I guess we have a couple more Star Rail Passes that we can spend here. See if we can get anything Erudition related. Nope. Well, now that Jingyuan is on our team and Krikolia is defeated, I hope you enjoyed and I will see all of you guys next time.